All right, guys, welcome to the video. I am the Detail Hot Lap. Thanks for taking two seconds out of your day to watch the video on the Nissan Versa. We're gonna go ahead and use a wash mitt on the vehicle, let it dry, air dry, and we should be good to go. If you wanna go ahead and use a blower to blow off the rest of the residue and water, you're feel free to do that. If you have hard water, if you have soft water, you really don't have to worry about it unless you have it in direct sunlight. So I'm just gonna leave it in shade and, and let it clean up. So let's get into it. We're gonna go ahead and clean the undercarriage of the vehicle. We're gonna clean the wheel well of the car and then we're gonna go ahead and put soap on the vehicle, wash it off with a wash mitt, and then uh, just let it air dry. So we'll get started in three, two, one. So the first step I like to do is clean out the wheel wells, clean out the tires. If you have plastic hubcaps, take those off, get in and around the wheel wells because it holds a lot of brake dust and a lot of dust that you have accumulated over the week, two weeks, however long you've gone without washing the vehicle. So I like to do this around the whole vehicle and then I like to do inside the door trims as well. Make sure you do not spray inside the vehicle. Then I like to use an undercarriage cleaner. I do have some linked down in the description. This one is the Ryobi one. It is perfect for undercarriage, getting all the dirt that you do not see on the underside. It's perfect for mud, perfect for dirt, perfect for road salt, anything above. The next step I like doing is rinsing off the vehicle before applying soap. This way I make sure that the car is at its cleanest state before putting soap on and using the wash mitt. Then I go ahead and apply the soap with a foam cannon. The foam cannon eliminates most of the swirls that you could get from just using a wash mitt with soap. This step adds basically a layer of lubrication so your wash mitt glides across the paint smoothly.
After you let the soap sit on your vehicle for about a minute, I use the wash mitt. I start from the top to bottom. Basically, I put the split the car up in two. I do the top half and then the bottom half, and then switch to the other side of the vehicle. If you are worried about scratching your vehicle, I would recommend using two wash mitts. Do the top and then switching to another wash mitt for the bottom half. So that way you kind of keep it sep uh, separate and don't cross contaminate your wash mitts. If your wash mitt does fall on the ground, do make sure you use another one or get it ri well rinsed off because you do not want that fibers that are on the ground scratching your After I've completed the soap wash mitt, I go ahead and rinse off the vehicle one more time. Since I'm using soft water, I just go ahead and leave the water on the vehicle. Don't leave it in sunlight, leave it in shade, let it dry, and then you should be good to go. Um, if you have a drying towel, use it at this time because you've already used the wash mitt on the vehicle, so you're not going to promote promote any more scratches than you already have if you did at all if you use the two bucket method you shouldn't have to worry about that but other than that thanks for watching the video if you would take two seconds out of your day to smash that like button hit that subscribe button and we'll see you guys in the next one peace